Hi there, welcome to this video here. So um, since last month we have decided that uh, at the beginning of each month, uh, what we'll do is a quick video here to keep you guys updated on the, the current portfolio that I have on eToro. Okay, to keep you also updated on the, what we are doing and how are we managing the portfolio and what is some of our future outlooks uh, into the financial market. Okay, so uh, without further ado, I'll show you my screen and then we'll walk through some of the things that I've prepared uh, to cover. In this particular video over here okay so first up of course uh, let's take a look at the overall performance that we had in July okay of course uh, we just transited into August so you can see July was a pretty solid month uh, we managed to uh, grow our portfolio by 2.18 percent bringing our year to date to about 7.05 percent um, for 22 one Okay, of course, um, we are still lagging behind the overall S&P and the NASDAQ. Uh, however, you know, one thing I'll always emphasize on is not just look at the upside, okay, not just focusing on the profits, but what's more important is also to manage along uh, in terms of the risk, right? Okay, so in terms of this portfolio here, one of my key objectives is to also ensure that the volatility, uh, the risk that I take in this portfolio is very, very manageable to majority of the people. Okay, um, in fact, some of some of them might even say that it's a little bit too conservative or a little bit too safe. Okay, uh, but there's no right or wrong. Okay, that's my style and that's how I prefer, and uh, I'm very comfortable in managing the portfolio in this format. Okay, so you can see, um, you know, year to date, uh, the worst drop that the portfolio suffered was just about 9%, okay, and um, to me, that is very, very manageable. So I wouldn't complain too much about the upside, okay, for now, at least we still have, you know, August, September, October, November, December, a good um, five months to see how, um, you know, we, we probably may be able to catch up from, from the S&P and as well as the NASDAQ, right? Okay, uh, but July generally is a pretty solid month for our portfolio. Okay, um, and I believe that the whole performance was actually pulled up um, by MRNA. Okay, so for those of you who are following and copying this portfolio, you should be able to, you know, profit quite nicely uh, from MRNA as well. Okay, so this is definitely the highlight trade for July. Okay, um, you can see as of today, um, when I'm recording this, the price is actually almost rallied 100%, right? Almost doubled from where we entered. Uh, and along the way, we have took some partial profits. Um, we have shift our stops to protect this particular trade um, in terms of the capital and the profits that we have, okay? So MRNA definitely has pulled up uh, the entire portfolio for July. Um, Nike as well has been running pretty nicely. Okay, so Nike over here um, since last month we entered right and uh, it's still being supported to the upside which is great right so to date we see nike running at about 28 percent okay so uh those are some of the highlight traits okay um i've also added recently tlt which is um the bond okay the etf for the bond market uh you can see over here about 7.63 percent of my portfolio okay i've actually allocated to the tlt uh, it's mainly as a protection and a potential hedge, right? Because um, we are right now in the transitory state of the entire financial market. And what I mean by that is that we are definitely at a crossroad where the Fed is definitely considering future tapering of the bond purchases and of course um, the, the rate hiking. And that would cause the financial market to actually undergo a correction or even a potential dip, right? Or um, depending on what is the pace, what is the surprise element from the Fed, we might even see a maybe 10 to 15% drop in, in the market, right? Because of that uncertainty element. Okay, so basically the transition of risk on towards risk off. So uh, TLT over here is basically as, um, as a hedge, as a protection against our portfolio. Of course, it's not a huge position over here. Uh, we do have a stop on TLT as well. So if let's say this protection trade does not play out, uh, we'll get out, you know, um, at the stop as well. Okay, so that's the highlight um, to, to keep you guys updated as to what's happening. Uh, the, other, the other positions that you see on my portfolio are basically um, more or less following some of these strategies that we have, right? Momentum, dividend, and of course, seasonal. 
Okay, so those are quite common, um, and you know, not not too much to highlight upon because um, those positions might change. We might rotate in and out within the month along the way. Okay, so that's uh, a quick update on the portfolio side of things. Uh, of course, we are gonna transit two of our trades uh, rotate, right? We'll rotate out of two of the trades uh, from momentum side. Uh, and we'll be entering two new trades uh, later today when US market open. Okay, so of course, uh, if you're keen to follow and copy some of these trades, my portfolio over here, uh, make sure you do that before the US market open so that you are able to copy those trades um, when we enter the market. Okay, so let's talk about um, some highlights that happened uh, just last week, or you know, you can put it as July. Okay, and I think one of the hottest topic right now in the equities market is about China um, or say Chinese government uh, cracking down on the education companies, right? And you do see the A50 stocks, uh, which is the China's uh, China index, okay, did a massive, massive drop, okay, and naturally it pulled along Hong Kong as well. So, um, this is not surprising to me because um, personally, I always highlight to fellow traders and investors that if today you're investing in the China market, you need to be very, very cautious because one of the risks um, that's inherent in, in this market here in China is that the government has huge control over what they want to do with it. Okay? And case in point, a crackdown like that, literally, there's nothing you can do about it, right? Uh, the companies that you invest in probably can be very solid, huge potential growth, but the government can just come in and stop it. Okay, so that's that's a risk that you need to be uh, aware if you're investing into the Chinese uh, companies, right? So not only directly in 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 the Chinese market, but I would say China related companies that are listed in the US, you want to be also careful about it, right? So um, you know, for example, Alibaba recently you do see that dip. Okay, um, even NIO you do see that is struggling, right? Together with Tesla, of course. Um, DT, for example, right, the company DIDI, okay, um, has also struggled since IPO, of course, okay. So not only one companies are being affected, but this is the general risk that you need to be comfortable with, okay. Of course, I'm not saying that, it, you know, you can't invest in China or Chinese related companies, uh, but be aware, okay, at least be aware of the of, uh, of the rest inherent in it. Um, for me personally, I will never touch it, okay? So um, you do realize that our portfolio will not have, you know, this kind of China stocks um, inside it. Okay, yeah? So that's something that I thought is uh, important for you to keep an eye on. Now, other than that, um, generally from, from the model, the framework that we use to understand the financial market, okay? Uh, we are still basically pretty liquid which means that macro perspective over here, we are continuing to expect the general stock market to continue to rally, right? That of course means uh, S&P to continue to beat all time highs, uh, the NASDAQ as well, okay? Um, however, it's not gonna just keep going up every day. There are bound to be correction, but the big picture here is to generally to the upside, okay? Uh, but a lot of all this of course hinges on um, if the Fed were to announce something new, Okay, because based on the latest FOMC in um, June, July, last month, okay, uh, there was no update, right? Basically, the Fed is still doing about 120 billion per month on asset purchase, and um, the dot plot suggests that the late, the nearest in which uh, we'll see a rate hike is in 2023, and we're expecting about two to three times of rate hike in the, um, 2023, okay? So basically, we still have a good about one year where the market is still gonna be pretty liquid and that is a good thing for the stock market. But this sentiment can shift if let's say the Fed decides to announce, all right, we're gonna reduce our tapering, uh, reduce our asset purchase program, we are tapering soon. Um, that can change a lot of things, okay? So if today you're you know, looking at this from this perspective, it's important to also understand that later part of this Friday, we do have our very, very first um, US labor data coming in for August, okay? So do take note of that because if there's any uptick, um, you know, uptick in, in terms of like surprise to the upside on all this data here, uh, it might add the pressure where the Fed will probably need to come in and start talking about tapering soon, right? 
okay and that would then send the S&P perhaps um, slightly lower okay so you want to take note of that as well okay but as a whole um, you know this is generally uh, not as easy a year as compared to of course 2020 okay uh, we have always seen that um, moving forward is definitely not a year for I would say passive investing where you just buy and hold for long term and definitely you can't just buy anything because moving forward the market is going to be slightly trickier okay so that's something that will of course manage along the way with our portfolio okay so uh, naturally if you're just following uh, my portfolio here at eToro there's no need for you to worry okay um, we'll keep you guys updated along the way uh, and of course if you're not aware um, we do have uh, a telegram channel as well okay um, so I'll drop a link in this video okay and uh, of course if you're already Toro uh, you can also click on to the the link here okay um, you can see where you can join the telegram you know to just keep yourself updated okay whenever there's something that you know I feel is important that you as a follower and copier will need to know uh, that's where we're gonna update them Okay, so that's all for me in this video. Would like to keep it concise, um, short, simple, and sweet. <laughs> uh, but of course, if you have any particular questions you would like to understand a bit more, okay, um, feel free to just drop it in the comments under this video, and then from there, I'll be able to answer your questions along the way. Okay, so that's all for me. All the best for the month. Okay, and let's see what the market can provide, and we'll capitalize as much as we can from there. Okay, all the best, and I'll see you guys soon.